Hi, I'm Dan Martin. Today I'm going to do a video on what's called myotatic reflex. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so now. Uh, today I want to share a tip on something that's called myotatic reflex, and it has to do with the way our body, our muscles under stretch naturally react, which can actually, if you don't understand this, this natural function, uh, can really make it difficult to swing a golf club. Uh, a golf club or a golf swing is a, is, a, is a process of using your big muscles of your hips and your core to generate a spinning motion which then swings your arms and swings your hands. Your muscles, however, naturally, whenever you put them under a stretch, which happens in a lot of, in a lot of parts of golf swings, we want to be able to particularly get our arms to feel like they get under a state of stretch. Our muscles, when they get stretched, naturally recoil. And it's something that you, you don't even think about doing. And it's something that great athletes really learn how to learn how to bypass. And it's one of the uh, it's one of the things that leads to the quote unquote the left arm straight. It's not locked straight, but the, there's a pulling force in a golf swing that, that creates this. And most golfers, when they go to the top of their golf swing, as the, even even before they start to set the golf club, their arm instead of letting it get under a stretch as they change direction, they actually pull it inwards a little bit. And these little forces become, become elements that start to distort the swing and slow it down. So I'm gonna do something kind of simple for you here. I've got a variety of different objects here. This is a medicine ball. We got a little light hand weight or even a cone. But I wanna, what I, when I, whenever you pick something up that's heavy, you'll notice you'll, you'll resist its pulling force. And what we wanna do is if I can just get myself to hold something and then let its weight actually pull on my shoulder joint and my elbow joint. So I can feel like my, hey, my ligaments are being stretched just a little bit and then just swing that. And you can swing this in a variety of fashions. We can just swing it in kind of like a, a, a back and forth sagittal plane or a frontal plane or even a rotational. But you may notice as you move it, you keep wanting to like resist that. And we wanna learn how to bypass that, bypass that, that, uh, that feeling or what's called that myotatic, um, that myotatic reflex. And so if I can learn how to swing my arms under a state of stretch, then a lot of natural things start to happen. My body starts kind of driving, driving the swinging motion. So when I get to back to the golf club, when I'm hitting golf balls, can I start to notice any part in time where I feel like my arms shorten a little bit, or I have a, I have a, I have a, I have a, especially in the transition, I have a tendency to like pull in a little bit. Those things start to lead to adding force against the shaft, which actually distorts the swing. So really simple tip here. It's not, it's not really about telling you how to swing or any kind of position, but it's something you need to have an awareness of as a golfer is again, that natural myotatic reflex and, and know that all the golf, golfing greats have learned and, and great athletes in other sports actually learn how to bypass that and allow their arms to be in a free state of swing and a free state of stretch throughout the entire swing.